So what were you doing in high school? Probably not changing the world. Not quite. But what started as a school project here in the Delaware Valley is now having a positive impact on lives halfway around the world. Eyewitness News reporter Jen Carabeo takes us to Chestnut Hill to meet the young ladies behind this noble endeavor. So here are a lot of our woven products, scarves, wraps. As you can see, these are so beautiful. Spoken like seasoned entrepreneurs rather than high school students, Mia Kostonis and Mina Padde are focused on more than just their studies at Springside Chestnut Hill Academy. They also have a business to run. It's so crazy because people ask me, especially headed into college, like, do you know what you want to do? And I'm like, well, I actually have a company right now. That company is called Sonus to America, created in the school center for entrepreneurial leadership and inspired by a school trip to the Sonus weaving village in Dakao, Cambodia. And the only source of income for most women is to harvest, which is only a couple months out of the year, and it equates to about a dollar a day. But in the Sonus weaving village, 15 women make a living by creating these colorful handcrafted goods. From 100% cotton that they grow right there in the village, they spin it into to thread, they dye it with all natural dyes. Through Sonus to America, Mia and Mina then sell the items here at home and send 100% of the profits back to the Cambodian artisans, so far totaling $15,000. It's just life changing for them. A lifeline for the artisans and a life lesson for Mia and Mina. Sonus to America launched in 2019, but when the pandemic hit, the young entrepreneurs quickly ramped up their social media marketing and switched focus to online sales. They also expanded their product line to include wellness items like face masks and soap, exemplifying the mission of becoming entrepreneurial problem solvers. They really show hustle and heart and determination um, in an incredible way. And the work isn't done. There's so much room to grow. Mina takes the reins soon once Mia graduates in June. Her first goal is to get products into more retail stores, then ultimately to continue passing this business down from one class to the next. It makes all your work so fulfilling and it doesn't really make it feel like work anymore. It's just kind of fun and then you feel really good that you're doing something impactful. And if you want to donate to the cause, just log on to shopsonus.org. In Chestnut Hill, Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News.